just about ready to roll. And today's starting pitcher, Mitchell Parker. And singing a special day for him. He's making his major league debut here. And I'm sure he's got some nerves. He'll be excited for that first pitch to be in and over with so that he can settle in to pitching just like he did in the minor leagues. Exciting moment. He's got his family in town. I think this moment's going to be a huge tone setter for his career. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's down. One hops off the wall. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Tommy Pham with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. Pitch oh. in the dirt, ball one. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Swing and a pop up. Garcia under it. And there's one down. And here now, the lineup for the Royals. And something they've talked about needing to improve on moving forward is their ability to apply consistent pressure, Chris. Right now, it's not a club that gets on base enough. And sometimes, Boog, you just need a hitter to go up there and grind out and at bat, maybe have 11, 12 pitches, and all of a sudden, players get fired up in the dugout, and they want to do the same thing. And before you know it, nope. you start to get base runners on, and you get a big hit, and all of a sudden, you ride that wave for a few days and go on a winning streak. That's something they definitely could use. Runner at second here, one gone. Center field under it. Calls it in, and there's two away. That is cool. The first base is Yuli S. E. Guriel. Yuli Guriel comes up to hit, looking for his first big league hit right here. And the That's first pitch misses for ball one. Wouldn't ball chase two. that time. Good hitters count the 2-0. And yep. that's a little high. Freddie for me. No on deck for the Royals. is in for a strike. Fastball for a strike. And boy, that was the pitch. 3-1, you want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Got it. That's the third out. Royals lead one. Now it'll be Washington's turn. It's a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here in Nationals Park. And on the hill, the lefty, Cole Reagan. Singy, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the comfort of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. field Renfro makes the grab one away 
Here's Dave Martinez lineup for the Nationals. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Luis Garcia. Tops on the team in batting average, Boog. A guy who's showing off some excellent bat-to-ball ability when he digs in at the plate. You know, that's useful if your team needs to get an inning going, get a leadoff man on, but it's also incredible to have a guy like that in the lineup because he's a run producer who can drive in runs if you've got guys on base already. So he's a huge piece in this lineup. Witt over to first, and he's out. Well, that we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand, the way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Juan Yepes. Swing it a foul straight back. And it's fouled away. Two down, nobody on. And there's a ball. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Over to first, and the inning is over. End of one, and we're still scoreless. Back in Washington, D.C., at the play. Freddie Fermi. Parker, 24 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in New Mexico. Best ball for a strike. Not sure if he was expecting for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. Swing and a miss. Just a bit late on that 0-1 breaking ball. 0-2 hole now. He's going to have to shorten up, tighten things up if he's going to have a good at bat. And that one upstairs. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. That hits the dirt. The count now 2-2. Two and two. Well, He might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here 2-2. Two, two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at-bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Backed off the plate that time. Now fly ball to right center. He's got it. And there's one down. That is good. The right wing, number 15. Hunter Renfro at the plate. That clips the corner. One down, base is empty. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. Two outs, base is empty. Now the third baseman. And a good eye there. Counts 1-0. Two outs, base is empty. Next offering is in for a strike. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Two outs. This one in the air, center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. The second base hit. Gary. 
Here's Garrett Hampson. Parker picks the first. No, he's in there. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. So one hit is all they get. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Bottom of the second. Leading now it's the rookie Warwick DH, Washington. Jose Tena. The designated hitter. Tena. Here comes a pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Here comes the 01. Lifted in the air down the left side, and that'll get down for a hit. Jose Tena with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. A switch hitter batting right. The tag, and he's out at second. First pitch oh, just out. misses. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Foul ball there. It's a 1-1. Ground ball up the middle. Throws the first in time. That is good. The second base. Really? And now it's Luis Garcia. Swing and a grounder foul for a space side. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. And he deals. And one and two. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Oh, that's that one outside. And it's two and two. It's a good take. Two down, nobody on. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. We'll move to the third with no score. Center fielder Kyle Isbell. Parker back to work. That one finds the zone. Going one. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. Into center field. That'll fall for a hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Kyle Isbell with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. 
Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming. Dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Here's Tommy Pham. Led this game off with a double, but they weren't able to drive him in. Ball. In the dirt. But no advance. That's ball one. And the pitch. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And out of here. He'll touch them all. His first homer of the year, and they grab the lead. It's 2-0. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Stepping in, Bobby Witt Jr. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat, getting that first hit at the big league level. That's oh, outside. That's out. And that's ball one. Can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. And now the lefty. And a foul ball. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. He's going to really have to bear down. The lefty fires. Ah. And That's now the count through. is even. Really good take, especially two with two strikes. Two strikes. Good job to fight that one off. Nobody on, nobody out. A pair of runs across in the inning. We're here in the top half of inning number three. The wind of the pitch. Line drive, base hit. Bobby Witt Jr. with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So, man aboard. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Right through there for a strike. Wit on at first. Nobody out. Step off throw to first. And he's back in easily. Base runner with a one way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Rudder takes off. Pitch is low. Throw, save! That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Sliced hard, but foul. And it's second. And That's another open. ball. Three. Struck him out without a swing. 
Ball strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Oh, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Here's Guriel. That's in for a strike. And a pitch. Out there to center. Settles underneath it. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Now back. The catcher. Freddy. For me. And next up for the Royals. Freddy for me. He's over one. Singy, he's got a history of coming through into big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next yep, pitch is outside. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. Two-run shot for the Royals this inning. And it's 2-zip. You're dialed into the show. As we go to the last of the third. And now up for Washington, number 30. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And a foul ball. High in the air, out to right. Renfro in position. Hauls it in for the out. That again. The third baseman. Trey Lipscomb right. digging in for the Nationals. And first offering is fouled off. The Royals up by two here in the last half of the third. And that's, oh, that's outside. Out. Liner, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Trey Lipscomb with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Up now for Washington, Nassim Nunez. Ball one, no strike. Squirts away a little bit, and an excellent job keeping it right there. The lefty, the one on. Out to short, with off balance feed. There's one to first, not in time. Great effort there. So the lineup flips over. Dylan Cruz digging in for the Nationals. Fly to right his first time.
Swings and misses and one down below the zone. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Run around the goal. Strike in there. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Looks like the base runner had a pretty good feel on the pitcher's move. After that pick over, seemed to settle in, and he took off right away. Nice job of stealing second right there. At the belt and fires. One ball. In the dirt, but kept close. No movement. Now a ball and two strikes. Runner at second, two down. Two outs. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. That one gets down for a hit. The throw is offline and he's in to score. And it's a one-run game. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock. And he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat. And it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an in-bat he's never going to forget. So digging in, James Wood. Grounded out his first time up. That Ball misses, one. and it's 1 0. Count 1 0. Wouldn't Two chase that time. Cruz leads off first with two down to the inning. Next Ball offering upstairs. Juan Yepes up next for Washington. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And yeah. yeah, there's the automatic. There's a strike. 3-2, two, two out, runner right on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. The pitch. Hard hit to third. Zips it across. What a play, inning over. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. And we're back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Hunter Renfro. Renfro. And a pitch. Curveball drops in for a strike. Well, these Royals did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I've seen very patient bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this one game. Ball. Next Three one in the dirt. one to the right side and it goes just foul 
Here's a one two. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. Forget it. A gigantic blast. His first homer of the year, and they tack one on the board. It's 3-1. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Here's the third baseman, and he's already singled in this game. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Oh, he's got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. And a pitch. And a base hit. couple of hits in a row for him here showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way didn't get jumpy didn't try to pull the ball he let it get deep took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit now a chance for Garrett Hampson and there's a foul ball One on, nobody out, a run in, top half of inning number four. Pitch is in there, and the count is 0-2. Don't play situation here, he's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball, see if he adjusts on this next pick. The 0-2. That one just misses. In the air, right side. Drops into the glove. The center field number 28, Kyle Isbell. And now it's Kyle Isbell. Singled and scored his first time. Hey. A big swing and a miss. Oh, and one. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Fouls went off out of play. Back to our left. Now snap throw to first. Oh, he's and good. he's back in safely. Man at first, one away. Three. Struck him out looking. And to the plate for Kansas City, Tommy Pham. He's already homered in this game. He swings and fouls one off. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one and one. Snap throw to first. Oh, he's and he's back in on a dive. And it's through for a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. 
Here's Bobby Witt Jr. He won the high school home run derby in 2018. They held the events between rounds during MLB's home run derby at Nationals Park. Such a cool experience for Bobby Witt Jr. He had eight homers in 76 seconds, hitting in front of major leaguers and 43,000 plus fans inside the stadium. Man, my adrenaline would have been pumping in that moment. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Throw to first. And it's in time for the third out. So that will end the inning. And a run to the Royals lead with this homer. It's now a 3-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom four, here's Juan Yepes. The, the first base. And here it comes. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Well, these Nats just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Makes the grab one down. Designated hitter. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jose Tena. One for one with a single so far. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Coming on is Fam to make the play. And a couple of quick outs. The bat, the catch. Digging in, Hebert Ruiz. Grounded out to short in his first trip. Ball one there. There and it's two and one. The Nets down by a pair. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Two down, nobody on. Still two and two after the foul ball. It's down for a hit, and that keeps the inning alive. Hebert Ruiz next, with his nice first time. major league the hit, and team. this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... It's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Luis Garcia now at the plate. That one missed. Ruiz off the first with two away. Just missed. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Fastball for a strike. Two outs. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again.
Left hand hitter waits. Out to short with. They take the force out. That ends the frame. So one left for Washington. Score holds. It's 3-1. We go to the top of the fifth. Now it's the DH, Salvador Perez. Perez, in his 13th season, 33 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0-1. Out towards right center field, sizing this one up. Brings it in. One up, one down. The back. The first base. Now it's Julie Guriel. Up and in. One and oh. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. In the dirt, now two balls and a strike. The pitch. That one fouled off. One down, base is empty. Chopped to third. Tosses to first, and Guriel is out. Two outs, base is empty. Freddie for me will hit next. Clips the outside corner. It's 0 and 1. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Base hit. Freddie Fermin with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Runner at first with two away. Now it's Hunter Renfro. He's already homered here in this one. Just oh, off the play. outside edge, and that is ball one. Two outs in the air, center field. Corrals it, and that's the third out. So one left for Kansas City as the lead remains 3-1. We head to the bottom leading of the fifth. Off. Leading off, number 30. The as the lefty gets to work. There's a strike. You know, these Nationals, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Next oh. offering upstairs. And another ball. Pitches downstairs. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. The pitch. 
started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first. He did not go around. It's tough after falling behind a hitter or two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Lipscomb, nope. the next day hit, takes high for ball one. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Fan has this one sized up. Makes the grab. Now Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Nassim Nunez. Oh for one, he hit into a fielder's choice his first time. The shortstop takes the ball. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you feel the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. The Royals leading by two. Last half of inning number five. Ball to strike. The pitch. That's and that's too high. <laughs> Rudder takes off. Pitch in for a strike. He Throw the second great jump. When you're trying to swipe the bag against an elite level arm behind the plate like this guy, you better get a great jump and hope that your speed can finish this job. That was a great jump right there. Really nice steal at second base. Here comes a pitch. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. And now here's the Nationals' leadoff man, Dylan Cruz. One for two. Fought off foul. Kicks and fires. And That's that one ball. is inside ball one. Pitch. Yeah, oh. that skips in the dirt. Moved to second, and he's back he's in there. That one misses. Three and one. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3-1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Flips the corner. That's strike two. We got full count. Up the middle. In time to Guriel. And that is the third out of the inning. Nationals leave one, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Robert Garcia. Yeah, this is the best way to make your major league debut. No one on base. Yeah, you're already going to be a little nervous out there, so I think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure with traffic on the bases. Down the third baseman. The pitch. 
outside corner. There's a strike. And now the lefty foul ball. Kicks and deals. Breaking ball inside. And a count one and two. Fly ball down the line. And there's one away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. So up now for Kansas City, Garrett Hampson. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. Now a drag bunt, third base no, side, in there safely. Garrett Hampson with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming. Dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. One gone runner at first. Kyle Isbell steps in for the Royals. That clips the corner. Belt and fires. Yeah. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down in 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. And the pitch. In the air to left center. Makes the catch. The left one at the 22. Tommy. Tommy. There. Now the left fielder, Tommy Pham. His two-run homer back in the third was an important swing of the bat in this one. Yeah, there's no doubt he helped set the tone fairly early and certainly part of the reason why they've got the lead right now. And first offering is fouled off. Hampson off of first with two away. One and one. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. The one one. And a foul ball. And he deals. Two balls, two strikes. In the dirt, blocked to second, and he's out. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Two, three, four, do up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Royals three, and the Nats one. Back in Washington, D.C., five of the sixth inning. Now the number two hitter, James Wood. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but... He's got a real high ceiling. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The wind of the pitch. Not one even one. close there. And the count even one and one. Good no eye in that spot. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Three. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Now, Juan Yepes. The first base. 
Just missed. Ball one, no strike. Down the line. And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Drifts towards it. And makes the grab. And there's two down. Got the pitch that he wanted just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit. And the launch angle not where he needed it to be. Jose Tena, the next to hit. He's been a great free agent side. Inside, just missed. Next offering is down low. Two balls. No fight. The Nationals trailing by two here in the bottom of the sixth. Outside. And that's ball three. Hebert Ruiz to bat next. In there at the knees for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And that's ball four. Close pitch there, but you've got to forget about no, that no, ball no. if you're out on the mound. You can't let it affect you going forward. You've got to get out of the inning first, and then if you want to be frustrated, take it out in the dugout. Fouled off. He was late. Two outs. Just missed. and misses it's a strikeout couldn't catch up to the heater no runs on no hits no errors and a runner left seventh inning coming up it's the Royals three and the Nats one Here in Nationals Park, we go to the top of the seventh. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals, Tommy Pham. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. Garcia back to work. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Oh, and one. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Ruiz drifts towards it. Calls it in, and there's one away. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Bobby Witt Jr. steps in for the Royals. One for three. The shortstop takes the ball. And the next pitch is way outside. One out, base is empty. Line to left. Base hit. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. So here's the Royals DH, Salvador Perez. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. Counts 1 and 0. Pitch out, but no action. Step off, throw to first, okay. and he's back in safely. The 1-0. -oh. 
And that one fouled off. The pitch. Run around the move. Swing and a miss. One ball. Safe at second, and that was not close. And a pitch. That's ball two. With the runner at second with one away. Perez checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. Nope, he held back. And a pitch. And foul ball. And it's second. Bounced up the middle. And they get oh. Perez for the out. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front okay. a little bit. Rolled over on it and beat the it into the ground. Baseman. And now the first baseman, Yuli Gurriel. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Nets in there at the knees. Two outs and a runner in third. Here in the top half of inning number seven. Chases that one out of the zone. And that is that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the second baseman, Luis Garcia. The wind of the pitch. This isn't a pitcher that softens up when he starts to show signs of fatigue. I mean, his stuff stays sharp. Makes these at-bats more difficult than they normally would be against other pitchers at this stage of the game. you one. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. One down. The bat. The center fielder. And now the center fielder. There's a strike. All ones the count. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. No ball, two Base is empty, one away. Here, the bottom of the seven. Ball Off one. the mark there, and it's one and two. One ball, two strikes. Count. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Good late cut for the strikeout there. Now they really Good got in on him, man. The you know, cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Now here is Trey Lipscomb. Fastball for a strike. Just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. And One that's ball, in the dirt. Two strike. Bows it off. Still one and two. to kick the pitch now a screamer into the outfield 
Lays out and makes the play. Great diving catch to end the inning after the pitcher battles through a tough one. That'll fire up the dugout. Time to go hit. On to pitch now for the Nationals, Trevor Williams. On for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. And here it comes. Fermin at the plate now. That's ball one. Williams, a 6'3 righty, 31 years old, and he was a second-round pick back in 2013. There's a swing and a drive. Cruz ranging back, and it's off the out-of-town scoreboard, and that's a leadoff double. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Strike Aye. on the inside corner. 0 and 1. Pitch misses outside. It's a ball and two strikes. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Tanner Rainey looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. Barnes warming up as well. Man at second. Foul ball still a one and two count. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. We're going to take a look at the pitch sequence of that at bat, and the thing to notice are the pitch locations. Every single one of them on the edges of the strike zone, and as a hitter, that can be pretty frustrating because you don't expect the pitcher to be able to make quality pitches one after another like that, and so those are tough spots to do damage in a great demonstration of pitch command, and it got him a punch out that time. Number 11 stands in now, looks at that one inside. One out and a runner at second, and we're at the top of the eighth. And no it skips in the dirt. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2 0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Yepes makes the catch. Two away. Now, bat bat. Second base. Gary. Hampton. Now it's the second baseman, Garrett Hampson. And that's all the inside edge. Ball one, no fight. Right-hander deals. Aye. In there at the knees. And the count one and two. For me, on its second with two down. Good eye right there. Man on second, two down. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Royals leave one, but they still lead it 3-1.
Now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Sam Long on for his major league debut. So we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium. But the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher. Whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw. And just let him lead you in this one. And the 1-0. And a ground ball to first. He takes it on oh. his own. And a quick out, number one. Couple of pitches and a quick out. The right fielder, number, number three. three. Dylan. Cruz. Dylan Cruz digging in for the Nationals. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful not working with too big a lead. They can get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. Next pitch misses That's inside. Down. One and one. Inside just missed. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. One down, base is empty. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. The left fielder, number 29. James Wood digs in now. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Swing and a miss. Four to one. Four one for count. And a curve right. misses outside. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. On the ground. That's and right. that's just foul. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out. They'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. Mm -hmm. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the at-bat alive. High fly ball down the left field line. Reaches for it, but it's foul. The wind of the pitch. That two misses. Two now strikes. two and two. On the ground to the left. Loves it on the dive. Gathers and throws. And they get the out. Well, that's cat-like reflexes over there at the hot corner. Nice job of making that play and ending the inning. in Washington D.C. Here's the center fielder Kyle Isbell. Kyle Isbell. Yeah, the right hater back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Yeah, the righty deals. Bunting for a hit. And they get the leadoff man of the night. Perhaps he rushed just a little bit, didn't set the angle as the infield was back right there, and that's pretty much a gimme for a bunt base hit. Just didn't quite put it where he wanted to right there. So the Royals batting order turns over. Tommy Pham steps in for the Royals. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. one, one. and two now. Good play. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had a pool. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's going to be Bobby Witt Jr. 
Singh, he, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. Out towards left center. Turns to the right on the move. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. So they make short work of them there. Hard of the order. 3-4-5 will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Royals three, and the Nats one. Lucas Ersek on to try and close it out. A chance at his first save of the year. Now pitching for Kansas City. Number 60, Lucas Ersek. Three, four, five, due up for the home team. Juan Yepes digging in for the Nationals. Yepes. And a pitch right through there for a strike. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. Oh, and two now. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string of the changeup. Well, the first batter, it's now always down. a big one for the, the closer. Yeah. You get that punch oh, out, man. you get settled in, now you down. feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. For me, snags it for the second out. Hey man, now four down. pitches, two outs. <laughs> that is an excellent pace. Really? So it's their last chance in this one. Hebert Ruiz getting ready to hit. Let's go, in there, and it's on one. Well, so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days you would think that hitters have made the adjustment but I don't know if you ever get used to it just pumping gas out of the bullpen so hard to play catch up Ersig is just one strike away and a swing and a miss and that is the ball game Reagan's with his first major league win yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.